6.45, it's a big day in space as a big asteroid is going to have a close call with Earth. So not so close, you need to tick off a couple of bucket list items before it's too late. <laughs> at least we're hoping. Quick 11's Chris Nicole in the studio. Do we need to at least like ready the bomb shelter? Bomb, get bomb, some, bomb. Some bottled water? Like. Send the text messages to <laughs> those you love. Still gotta pay the bills, huh? And maybe oh, even well. those you hate, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's All talk right. about it. It is always a good idea, though, to knock off some bucket list fun. If you're like me, you immediately start thinking of how Hollywood handles this stuff. I mean, I'm talking about the movie Don't Look Up, Armageddon. That that kind of thing, massive pieces of intergalactic boulders that could obliterate the planet, and man's sweaty attempts at blowing them up before they hurt Ben Affleck or, you know, Jennifer Lawrence. This particular Groundhog Day version looks like this. Can you see it? Little arrow there, right? Neither can I really. But this is the actual image that was captured of what is known as 2008 OS7. It's named for the year it was first discovered, 2008. And to give you a better idea, it is roughly the size of the Empire State Building, not too shabby. And it's not just about size when it comes to asteroids. It's positioning. OS7 will come within 1.7 million miles of Earth, or about seven times the distance between the moon and the Earth. So close, but not really that close. And even better news, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, that's a real thing, it's all eyes on. They're constantly scouring space for other near-Earth objects using telescopes on Earth and space, and it's found a lot of them. 859 asteroids larger than a kilometer have been discovered. Seven asteroids have passed closer to Earth than the moon just in the last month, and 107 of them in the last year. Are you feeling a little nervous, guys? Mm -hmm. NASA ready to rumble if there's a problem with their National Near-Earth Object Preparedness Plan. It could dispatch these deadly asteroids in a few ways using a gravity tracker tractor to pull it off track, send up one of its DART rockets to strike the object with enough force to make it wobble off its trajectory, or worst case scenario, literally the nuclear option like in Armageddon. Truly obliterate it in space and save life on Earth. But this one, OS7, is not that one. And that's why we're talking about it. And I'm not going skydiving right now to take care of that bucket list item. I'm Kirsten Cole. Back to you, Vanessa and Craig. So does that mean I don't have to go to Costco? You do <laughs> not. <laughs> shop for the apocalypse? You don't have to buy the extra large size chub of cheese balls. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. That's what Good. you get at Costco, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. yeah.